name is Deshaun and you're watching Distinctively Deshaun. Today is all about canvas art and I invite you to come along. So welcome to my home. I say welcome to my home. Hey good people, how's it going? I hope y'all missed me because I didn't upload last week, but I am back. I missed y'all. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Deshawn. Let's get acquainted to my new subbies. I saw y'all. Thank you so much for subscribing. Listen, look what I got in my hand, y'all. We are doing some DIY canvas art and I cannot wait. Hang in there with me, guys, because you are not going to be able to see exactly what I'm doing until the end of the video because of the lighting. So at the end of the video, you'll be able to see the actual texture and the design that I'm putting on the surface of the canvas. This is like... Like, my new, you 
you know, God, he sees the big picture. Like, for real. He really, really does. If I'm doing this for one or two people, like, it's a blessing. Because then that means that whoever you are, you the one or the two person, people that was assigned to me and then I'm assigned to y'all, you know, vice versa, for whatever reason. But another friend, she went out and bought the little hand that, um, that I used and she took a picture of her space, which was absolutely gorgeous, okay? After she got done cleaning it and stuff. And my whole thing is to like, really, really like, let people know, like I said in my last video, like cleaning does not have to feel like a chore. I used to hate cleaning with a passion, okay? Honestly, I think I probably had a little spirit of laziness in me if I'm being completely transparent because I could just find other things that I would rather do with my time. However, that is not God's will. He does not want us to be lazy as, you know, especially us married women. As a woman of your home, you know, we are the managers of the household. We are the ones that should be keeping the household in order, you know, as best as we can, setting the tone, setting the atmosphere, having a good attitude, taking care of our family, you know, that <clears throat> sort of a thing, excuse me, because it's in the Bible. And if you follow the word of God, then you definitely should be doing it. And not just because it's in the Bible, but because it's just so much better to live in a clean space. And then when you get done doing what you got to do, you get to enjoy the fruits of your labor. You know what I'm saying? You Then you get to sit back and relax. And enjoy the work that you put in. I'm going to have to get me some more paint. Because I didn't fill this cup up. This is looking good. Oh. I love making something out of nothing. Like I was saying earlier, guys, um, I appreciate you guys' feedback for real. And it encourages me to know that I've inspired some of you, you know, to... To do a little more, try something new, step outside the box, be more mindful of how you keep your house, and different things like that because we are supposed to be like stewards over that which God blesses us with, you know. Trust me when I tell you I am far from perfect okay i am striving every day to be better in every area of my life but at the end of the day we all gotta start somewhere you know what to my um my single women too like just because you know you might be single right now that don't mean that you get a pass to have your space looking kind of crazy. I mean, at the end of the day, we can do what we want to do, right? Because it's not like work where you got somebody managing your efforts and you won't come home and sit on the couch all day and don't do nothing that's your business. Granted, ain't nobody going to tell you not to do it. However, I can promise you, most men don't want no, to be in no foul space, okay? They, they ain't trying to come home to no dirty house. They're not. So, if you get in, in a habit, if you get in the habit of cleaning for yourself, then when God send that spouse, listen, it ain't about nothing. Cause you already doing what you gotta do. You might be like, why is she even talking about that? Because 
you will be surprised. Or maybe not. Maybe you wouldn't be surprised how many people um, just don't care. Don't know how. Or just don't feel like it. Don't want to. Don't do it. Whatever the case may be. I'm just here right now encouraging you, if that is you, and challenging you to do a little better. As well as myself. Okay? I'm challenging myself to, to do a little better. In certain areas. There's always room to grow. Don't forget the most important thing is to have fun. Step three, apply your flowers.
Now you can create whatever design you want to create while doing this. I just wanted mine to be straight across for what I want to do um, and the sims to be different lengths. But if you want to just put one flower on a canvas, two flowers, whatever you want to do, do it, okay? Make sure you know where you want to place it before you put it down because it's better not to take it back up once you put it down. I'm using a larger stem flowers here guys just because of the size of my canvas but for my smaller size canvas it's the 16 by 20s I use the smaller stem um, flowers. I also want to add, um, after doing this on this size of a canvas, I would recommend using like the aerosol can of glue instead of the Mod Podge or a glue that you have to actually brush on the canvas. If you use an aerosol spray can, you can just spray and sprinkle. I think that that works much better. This video is a tad bit longer than what I normally upload, but hang in there with me guys. We are almost there and I want y'all to see the final outcome. Make sure you have plenty of glue sticks when doing this if you're doing a project of this size.
we have come to the conclusion of this video i hope you all have enjoyed it i have thoroughly enjoyed doing this project especially spending time with you all listen let me know if you decide to do it leave me a comment don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already until next time ciao